Almost done cleaning up here, Sam. Thanks for waiting. No prob, Arge. Hey, you need some help? Nah, nah, it's cool. Just gotta put these balls a- Whoa! RJ, you okay? <laughs> yeah, good thing most of these balls don't really weigh that much. You're right. But it's weird how this golf ball can weigh more than this big beach ball, even though it's so much smaller. Dude, that's due to density. How light or heavy something is for its size. Density is an object's mass divided by its volume. <sighs> I always get mass and weight and all that stuff mixed up, never mind density. Does it really matter? <laughs> it matters to matter. Mass, weight, volume, density, they're all properties of matter. Matter is the stuff all around us. Solids, liquids, gases, and all of it has mass and volume. What about weight? Yeah, it's got weight and density too, but not so fast. You've got to know the mass and volume before you can figure out the other properties. Okay then, the floor is yours. Talk to me about mass. It's like this. Mass is how much matter is contained in an object. We measure it in grams or ounces, and unlike weight, it never changes. Well, of course. Why would it change? That's where it can get confusing. Weight is really a measurement of the force of gravity on an object's mass. Because gravity is different depending on where you are, that means that weight can change. But the mass is always the same. On the moon, there's less gravity than on the Earth. The less gravity, the less weight. We call weight newtons or pounds when we measure it, instead of grams. So, if all this stuff spilled out on you on the moon, it'd still have the same mass, but it'd weigh practically nothing? Yep. The gravitational pull on the moon is way less than on Earth, so things weigh a lot less. They might even float. Okay, I get it, I get it. Mass is the matter in an object, and weight changes with gravity. That's not so hard, but what about volume? Ah, volume! Volume measures how much space an object takes up. And just like mass, it always stays the same. You measure it by multiplying length times width times height. But not everything has a length, width, and height. Like these balls. Good point. The volume of round or weird-shaped stuff can be measured with water. Just drop it in and measure how high the water rises. Cool. Uh, does water have volume? Yeah. Remember, matter can be a solid, liquid, or a gas, and all matter has volume. If something's a liquid, a measuring cup or graduated cylinder tells us its volume. Okay, so it's all starting to make sense now. How come this big old beach ball would float if I dropped it in water, and this tiny little golf ball would sink? Because of its mass? Volume? Because of both. Remember how I said density equals mass divided by volume? Yeah. Well, things float if they are less dense than the liquid that they're placed in. If you put the beach ball and the golf ball in water, the beach ball would float because its density is much lower than the water's. The golf ball's density is higher, so it'd sink. Got it? That was a pretty massive amount of info, but I think you painted a pretty clear picture for me. Sink or swim, Sam. Go! Okay, the properties of matter. Matter's everywhere, and all of it has mass and volume. Mass is the measure of matter in an object, and volume's how big something is, the amount of space it takes up. Take mass and divide it by volume, and you've got density, the measure of how light or heavy something is for its size. Nice catch. Nice work.